morning everyone this is moving mark back out on the route again with another one of my route 66 spotlight videos and uh you see a, a beautiful lady here with a uh absolutely stunning uh, building behind us we'll let her introduce herself and uh, tell us a little bit about herself and uh, where she's at on route 66 and what she has on route 66. good morning hi i'm connie eccles i have the wagon wheel motel in Cuba, Missouri, on Route 66. It's never closed in 84 years. Fantastic. Uh, as far as, uh, what do you offer here as far as accommodations? What, what kind of rooms do you have? We have a variety of rooms from a single room up to a jacuzzi suite. Um, some have two beds. Some We have one with a walk-in massaging shower unit. Some have microwave and fridge. So to kind of accommodate different travelers as they go through. Uh, it's, I've definitely uh, stayed here myself. I thoroughly enjoy the, uh, the experience. It's like a step back in time, especially with the uh, ne neon uh, wagon wheel sign out there flashing on and off. And you hear a little buzz in the background. It just is reminiscent of... Uh, the old days. Uh, as far as your connection to Route 66, how did you become connected to Route 66 and to the motel? Well, actually, I had a gift store and florist down the street, and I had built some houses and remodeled some buildings. And I came up here to be nosy to see what the old, um, the older couple died that had it 40 years, and then their son was selling it, or he, he said he was selling it, and he had. Uh, he was wanting to go back to Kentucky, so he just said, make me an offer. So I made him an offer I didn't think he'd take, and he took it, and I was like, yeah, there I was. And I really wasn't, you know, I had Route 66 up there, and I had talked to Fran. She was from Cuba a lot and, and everything, but not so involved until I got the motel. And then we started having people come by as we did the construction and we started meeting everybody. And it's really been nice, you know. There's a lot of great people on Route 66. Rich Henry is one of my favorites. Gary was too, you know, and different ones that come through all the time. It's hard to beat. We have friends from everywhere now. I, I definitely consider you a friend. It's been an honor uh, getting to know you over the past several uh, times that I've uh, come through. Uh, as far as anyone that's been really influential in your life on Route 66 or somebody you look up to, uh, who might that be? I don't know. Ramona's toughed it out for quite a while. <laughs> and uh, Gary Turner, he was like a sweetheart. And Rich, Rich Henry, he's awesome. I mean, he's so good to everybody. And... Um, a real asset to Route 66. Uh, if you had to sum it up in just a, a few few words or a few sentences, what does Route 66 mean to you personally? Well, it's, I don't know, it's kind of nice to see the people come through. They appreciate the property. Um, you know, sometimes everything doesn't work quite right or it works like it's 80 years old. And um, But they're all nice about it, you know. And we have know people like Dale Butel from Australia and Roman Rich and ones that come through, you know, you never know when they're going to stop by and all of a sudden they're there. And it's nice to see everybody and you too and all the rest of them. And, and so it's fun. Uh, as far as if a new viewer is going to see this, this Never Done Route 66, what advice might you give them? Take take your time if you have to do it in segments for one thing and research your trip so you have an idea where you're going to be. We see a lot of people come through and they didn't realize they wanted to stop so much. They get here late at night and they're tired and they don't really get to enjoy it, and they have to leave early in the morning to get somewhere else, so sometimes they don't enjoy. They say, man, I wish I could stay here for two days, you know, or something like that. So that would probably, uh, you can't always, but. It's kind of the same thing uh, Ramona said to me the other day, was, is take your time on it. Don't drive at night because you can't see anything at night yeah. on Route 66. <laughs> That's for sure. uh, if someone wanted to reach out to you as far as through social media, website, or booking a room with you, how's the best way to go about doing that? Um, we have a website. It's wagonwheel66cuba.com, and you can get a, you know, there's phone numbers. You can book a room on there. You can contact just an info site too or you can call the office what is that number 573-885-3411 
Tony, it's been an absolute pleasure and uh, the opportunity to see you, number one, and I always enjoy that. But uh, number two is to get an honor to uh, to interview and talk with you a little bit today on camera. Uh, any party words you'd like to give us? No, just have a good winter, everybody. See you in the spring. <laughs> get your cold kicks on 66, right? Actually, we're open all winter and have cozy, warm rooms, but call ahead to make sure somebody's here to let you in. <laughs> so. Well, definitely. Connie, I appreciate your time so much. And uh, once again, this is Moving Mark along the route in Cuba, Missouri at Connie's Wagon Wheel Motel. Everyone have a great day and see you down the road. Bye-bye now.